Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover one of the topic of Maths D, sequences. What are sequences? Sequences are a pattern of numbers that follows some rule. Uh, once you know the rule, then you will be able to find out all the other numbers of that sequence. Okay, so it's some kind of rule. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, and keeps going on. This is a pattern of numbers. You can see that one number is uh, one more than the previous number. Two is one plus one. Three is two plus one. So it keeps going on. The rule is the previous number added to one, get the following number. If you have two, four, six, eight, ten, then also you know that this is a sequence of number, pattern of number that all the even numbers are there or the difference of two numbers by two. Okay, so the following number, the, the next number should be 12. Okay, and after that, it's going to be 14. You add two with that, you add two with that to get this one. Okay, now if you have one, three, five, seven, nine, this is also a pattern of number that follows a rule. That rule says that one number is two more than the previous number. One plus two is three, three plus two is five. 5 plus 2 is 7. So I can find out the next two numbers. Let's say 11 uh, and 11 plus 2 is 13. Uh, oh, I didn't do this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then next one is going to be 6. Then next one is going to be 7 and keeps going on. Okay. These are examples of sequences. You might find out a lot of sequences. Um, not only this, you might have 2, 4, then uh, 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 let's say 8, then 16. You can see that one number, any, any number of the pattern is uh, multiplied by 2 of the previous number. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So they are multiplied by 2. Okay, they are multiplied by 2. So I can find out the next one. Next one should be 2 times 16 is 32 then next one would be 32 times 2 is 64 so it keeps going on then you might have some other other number let's say one then you have four then you have nine then you have 16 then you have 25 and they're asking us to find out next two terms now when you look at this at the first uh, glance you can you cannot find out any any formula like that that one number is uh, one more than the other number one or in this case one number is two more than the previous number this is something different okay it's not multiplied it's not added or subtracted it's something different but if you look closely they are all your square number see that one square then two square three square this is the list of a uh, sequence of all the perfect square. So one square, two square, three square, four square, five square. Next one is going to be six square. Six square. That gives you 36. And the following one is seven square. That means 49. And you kept going on like that. Now, since you got that, okay, one more thing. Uh, cube number. You might have cube number as well. One, then uh, uh, two, two cubed is eight. Then 27. Then this is one cubed, two cubed, three cubed. 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, and keeps going on. Okay, then it's going to be 6 cubed, then it's going to be 7 cubed. Now, two, uh, 6 cubed is 216. 216, if you are not sure about that, you can use your calculator. 6 to the power 3 equal to 216. Then 7 cubed should be 343. If you are not sure, use the calculator, 343. But you should know all the square numbers from 1 to 20. That means 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, up to 20 square. And for this one, 1 to 10 or 12 cubed, that 1 cubed, 2 cubed, you should know this. When you know that, you're going to get uh, confident about that and you can do much more. Okay. So these are very basic one. But let's say you have... You have one of the one of the sequence is such 5, 9, 13, then 17, 
and they are asking you to find out next two terms okay now this is not like the previous ones right it's a little bit different so what can you do you just observe a little bit okay and see if you can find a, a rule that combine all the all the terms with each other okay now when you look at this the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna subtract the first one with the second from the second one so 9 minus 5 is gonna give you 4 now you're gonna try the third one with the uh, subtracting second one from it 13 minus 9 that's gonna be sorry 9 minus 5 is yeah 9 minus 5 is 4 13 minus 9 is 4 17 minus 13 is 4 so we have the difference okay they are following a pattern a rule that one number is 4 more than the previous number you can check that 9 minus 5 that's gonna give you 4 then 13 minus 9 that's gonna give you again 4 so that's 4 and 17 minus uh, uh, 13 that's gonna give you 4 so this is 4 4 and 4 so the next one you can find it out by adding 4 with this one so 17 plus 4 that should give you 21 sorry uh, 20 uh, 17 plus 4 should be giving you 21 so this is 21 and then again from 21 you add 4 so that should give you 25 21 plus 4 that's 25 okay so this is your next two terms okay but if the question asks you, find the nth term, because let's say there are so many other terms in there. So if you put the value of n that you want the fifth term, one, two, three, four, fifth, five, this is the fifth term. Fifth term is 21. Let's say question is asking you to find out 25th term or uh, 100th term. So that's going to be very unwise if you write down all the term and you count that and say, okay, this one here is 100 terms. Okay, so that's not very convenient, right? So mathematician, they find out a formula. What is that formula? <clears throat> the easiest way you're going to do, see the difference? You take that difference, okay? And you multiply n with that. So 4n. And then this is our tnth term, okay? Remember, we are trying to find out tnth term, any term of the sequence. So take the difference, okay? Then multiply by n and look at this first term okay you have to concentrate on the first term first term is your 5 okay if n equal to 1 if this n equal to for the first term 1 if n equal to 1 this gives you 4 times 1 is 4 to make 5 what do you need to add or subtract from that now 5 is greater than 4 let me write down this if you have n then 4n becomes 4 times 1 equal to 4. Now 4 and the first term is 5. So 5 is greater than 4. By how much? First term is greater than 4 by how much? By 1. So you're going to add 1 with that. Okay. So that should be your nth term. Okay. Now see if this works or not. If I put the value of n 1, then I got when n equal to 1, I got T1, the first term, 4 plus 1 equal to 5. That's what I got. When n equal to 2, that's second term, 4 times 2, see that n is 2, plus 1. So that's going to be 4 to the 8 plus 1, that's going to be 9. We got 9. Remember the fifth term? So 4 times 5 is 20, 20 plus 1 is 21. Now we're going to go for 100 term. Now this is 100 term so what are you going to do we're going to multiply 100 with 4 because n is that plus 1 so it's going to be 400 plus 1 that's going to be 401 so i don't need to write down all of them i can use this formula to get this now how this formula generate okay how did you get that if you want to be very mathematics uh, mathematician on this topic then let's do some of the things what did we do over here now see that 5 so i have 5 over here so for t1 the first term for t1 i have 5 and then of course i have different 
4 but see that for that I'm gonna put 0 over here multiply 0 so 5 plus 4 times 0 4 times 0 is 0 so 5 plus 0 is 5 okay now t2 that's gonna be 5 I'm gonna keep the first term okay and then this difference I'm gonna multiply 1 with that now 4 times 1 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 that's 9 over here so we got that then t3 term 3 5 plus 4 times 2 that's gonna give me 4 times 2 is 8 I'm gonna use the calculator if you are not sure about that see 4 times 2 equal to 8 8 plus 5 is gonna be 13 and that's 13 right over here so 13 I'm gonna go one more uh, t4 so it's gonna be 5 plus 4 times 3 equal to this is 12 12 plus 5 is gonna be 17 okay so if we keep going on like that then when we have t nth term now of course I'm gonna have 5 and I'm gonna have 4 but look at this whatever the term I ask for I multiply the difference by one less it's 4 I multiply 4 minus 1 by 3 this 3 by 2 2 by 1 1 by 0 so when it's n then I'm gonna multiply this one by n minus 1 okay now this is this is a formula but these two are different right so I'm gonna make a formula let's say this first term over here I'm gonna call it a okay so that's my a and then this one is my difference okay remember how we find out the difference difference we take any term let's say I take the second term I subtract the first term okay so I can write down as a formula tn minus t previous one so n minus 1 okay that's my d so I'm gonna replace this by d so n minus 1 d that's my formula you don't need to remember the formula you can just use this method that uh, whatever the difference you multiply that with n then to make the first term you have to either add or subtract something and then you're gonna get tn term okay but if you really want for the formula this is the formula okay now let me do some different thing okay let's say I have another uh, pattern of numbers or sequence minus 18 minus 12 minus 6 and the question is asking find out next two terms okay and of course t nth term okay t nth term now what is the first thing we're going to look at it and we see that okay minus 12 minus 18 so minus 12 minus this is minus 18 so minus 18 that's going to give me positive 6 okay so that difference is positive 6 let's see if it works here or not minus 6 minus minus 12 okay look that's also 6 so that's positive 6 so definitely that's going to be positive 6 now negative 6 negative 6 positive 6 that's going to give me 0 so this is going to be 0 and then again 6 so 0 plus 6 is 6 so that's my next two term now I'm going to find out the tnth term now I hope you remember what did we do we take the difference and multiply n with that so in this case my difference is 6 so 6n now take n equal to 1 so 6 times 1 then you have to add something to make it this first term and that's negative 18 what is this value mysterious value over here now we're gonna do exactly like equation this is 6 so this question mark okay and of course on the right hand side I have minus 18 and I'm gonna take this 6 to the other side it has positive sign so when I transpose that transfer the position of this term then its sign is positive it's gonna be negative so it's negative 6 so it's gonna be negative 18 uh, negative 18 negative uh, 6 is gonna be negative 24 so this is gonna be negative 24 let's see if we are right or not so 6 times 1 minus 24 that's gonna give me minus 18 okay so we are okay so 6 times 2 minus 24 for the second term okay that's minus 12 we got that 
for the third term fourth one two three four fifth so fifth term so six times five minus 24 that's gonna give me six and that is six okay so that's done here okay let's do one more 15 10 5 find out next two terms and find out the nth term okay so same way take the difference find the difference tn that's two second term we subtract first term so it's going to be 10 minus 15 so that's going to be minus 5 now this one the difference is minus 5 not positive so far we were doing positive now 5 minus 10 minus 5 so this is going to be minus 5 so i have 5 subtract 5 from that so this is going to be 0 and then again i have minus 5 so 0 minus 5 is going to be minus 5 all right we are ready to do the tnth term again what was the rule we are going to put the difference first okay and the difference over here is negative 5 so negative 5 and of course we're going to put n same way the way we have done over here see that so that's what we're going to do i have minus 5 times 1 we're going to add something with this this is a mysterious number this is our heart of this math equal to 15 the first term so transpose this one to that side so this question mark is going to be this is 15 and minus 5 when we go there it's going to be plus 5 so it's going to be 20. so that's going to be minus 5 and plus 20. okay let's see if it works or not so this is one two three four fifth term so i'm going to put 5 over here minus 5 times 5 plus 20. that's going to give me minus 5 and that's minus 5. so we are okay with that okay so this is done and then i'm going to do a different one and this is going to be a quadratic equation a quadratic sequence i'm going to do that in the next uh, uh, video okay so hopefully you understand that if you don't please uh, see it over again and if you have any question leave it in the comment box i'll get back to you thank you have a good day